Hey, sorry, trying this again. For some reason, the video I just did went to my stories instead of my wall, and I don't know how to fix it, so we're going live again. All right, it's Wednesday, but welcome to Testimony Tuesday. Yesterday, I didn't post a Testimony Tuesday because I had no idea what I wanted to talk about. And as I was praying about it, the Lord put this journey that I've been on on my heart to share. It's been there for a while, but today the timing is just perfect. So here we go. I'm going to share with you about my hormone journey and uh, what, I've, what I've been doing. So back um, before two years ago, when uh, I was working in the hospital and, you know, just doing normal everyday life, uh, things were pretty uncomfortable. So I, you ladies, you know, I know you've been there, um, but when I would be at work, there would be those times when I would be hunched over and moving slow and the gals in the office would be like, Jess, are you okay? And my reply would always be, oh yes, I'm fine, just waiting for the Advil to kick in. And that was code word for my cycle is on, don't mess with me. <laughs> and everybody understood that because we were all with it. So, um, like I said, things were very uncomfortable. So fast forward to two years ago, and I uh, had bought my, my kit with Young Living, and I was um, taking some classes, and Lauren Bretts, did a class shortly after I joined, um, and, and it was something along the lines of when Aunt Flo comes to visit. And she gave a whole 45 minute hour long talk about um, our cycles and our bodies and all this. But what I most remember getting from that talk was Aunt Flo does not like a toxic environment. And if the environment is toxic when she comes to visit, you will know because she won't be happy and so i remember that now um she also talked about how what we can do to help so our liver is the organ that really cleanses toxins out of our body so if you can help support your liver and what it's doing your tox your environment will be less toxic so I decided to get some orange oil and use that to support my liver and see what that would do. So I have got some orange oil and every morning I would put orange oil on the bottoms of my feet and I found it brightened my day. You know, so every day it was just like walking on sunshine, <laughs> which sounds crazy, but it's true. Um, Orange is my happy oil. It, it just brightens my mood. So by putting orange on my feet every morning, I was in a better mood. Oh dear. Okay, so thank you. <laughs> that the internal muscles, um, the oils couldn't get to. So they were still hurting quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So did a little more research and I found that one of the oils that came in my kit, Copaiba Vitality, could actually be used to help with the body's natural response to inflammation. So I figured what was happening, those muscles were achy and crampy and probably inflamed. So what I did was I took a capsule and I put some drops of Copaiba in there, capped it, uh, topped it off with some coconut oil and down that sucker. And sure enough, that really helped my cramps. They went from, uh, you know, down to, oh, okay, yeah, it's still kind of there, or um, if it didn't go down that much, I took some more. <laughs> and that helped tremendously. Mm -hmm. So what I did for a while was just try and support my liver with orange oil, and then I took the Copaiba Vitality. Um, I did eventually add in the Marjoram Vitality, and the combination of those worked wonderfully to really help with the uh, inflammation my muscles were going through during that time of the month. So um, what I did next was start to reduce the toxin load that uh, was found in my home. 
uh, first thing I did was actually change out my household cleaners. So instead of using all the stuff I was getting from the store, you know, the Clorox and the Lysol and the Windex and all the things that come from the store that are full of man-made chemicals that are actually really difficult for our bodies to get rid of, I switched to a plant-based cleaner called Thieves Household Cleaner. And I had the uh, not only did was I no longer adding that toxic burden to my body, but I noticed that it smelled really good. So I didn't have to wear a gas mask every time I cleaned my house, which was a huge plus. And about that same time when I switched over to Thieves Household Cleaner, I also changed my laundry detergent. Because your skin is the largest organ in your body, and it'll actually absorb anything you put on it. So when you are using your um, laundry detergent from the store, if you notice that your laundry comes out of the washing machine with any kind of smell, you're smelling a chemical. Because when you wash your clothes, all the smell should go away. If you're into having your laundry smell a certain way, you need to add that fragrance in the dryer. And actually, fragrances are horrible. Don't use a fragrance. But, you know, an essential oil or something that smells good, that's natural, that um, is not going to add to your toxic burden. Mm. So, anyway, I changed out my laundry detergent. And the first few weeks were a little rough because my clothes was actually detoxifying, which kind of translated into a funk. Um, but once we got past that, my, you know, the clothes were clean, they smell like nothing, which is amazing, especially after sweating all day. Um, none of that fake fragrance stuff. And so, I, you know, I stopped adding to all of the stuff my liver was trying to get rid of. And every month I noticed that things became more and more comfortable. Um, you know, I was still using the copaiba and margarine, but I noticed I was using less um, or only for like one or two days instead of for an entire week, mm -hmm. which is amazing in and of itself. Um, and then I can't remember what happened next. If I, okay, well, we'll go with next. Um, I discovered that cloth, reusable cloth pads are a thing. And I had never even heard of them. All I'd ever used is, of course, the, the disposable that you get from the store. You use it, it and then you throw it away, right? So um, I got some, I learned about and got bought some reusable cloth ones. Um, and that has, in and of itself, made a huge difference because uh, they're cloth. It's a natural cotton fiber, and I'm washing it in a natural plant-based detergent. So it's not adding, a, again, a bunch of extra toxins and yuck into my system, especially in my most intimate lady parts. <laughs> right? Okay. So um, did all that, and things got so much more comfortable every month. Um, then next, uh, one month, Young Living sent out a bottle of Sclorescence Vitality as a promo. So I got it for free, and I opened that sucker up, and y'all, it smelled like heaven. I was in love. My body was craving whatever was in this oil. So Sclorescence Vitality is an oil that really helps balance the female hormones, especially estrogen. So I was craving it. I was using it like crazy, at least two drops a day. Mm. And it was great until my next cycle came along. And then I, I remember I was getting irritated at everything. My kids had done something that kids do and I flew off the handle. My husband happened to be home. He looked at me and he's like, Jess, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but woman, you are crazy. <laughs> and I knew exactly what he mean. I meant, 
I was crazy in that moment. It's like I had no control over my emotions, especially my anger, and everything was ticking me off. So I looked at him, I'm like, okay, I'm going to order some Progestins Plus with my points right now, and I will start using it as soon as it comes in. So I ran to the computer, got my Pro Plus on order, and got it in and used it, and Crazy Mama went away. So what happens um, is if your estrogen, it's called estrogen dominance, um, estrogen is out of balance with your progesterone, that can lead to some pretty crazy mood swings. Mm -hmm. Try Googling it, estrogen dominance, and, and see what comes up. It's, it's insane. But um, I knew that my progesterone was low. I mean, I've been dealing with this for years like 12 years um, and if you want more on that story it'll have to wait for another day mm -hmm. but anyway so I got the progestins plus in and I started using uh, I think three drops a day at first I went down on the sclerescence I limit it to one drop a day now and um, after a while I noticed I it was things were better but they weren't quite where I wanted them to be so I ended up upping my progestins plus until I felt the way I wanted to feel. Mm -hmm. um, and that has been a godsend, let me tell you. So that's that was fantastic. Um, I noticed my, my cycles were getting better every time I changed something up. Um, you know, and but it was still, you know, monthly, meh. And um, at the end of last year, I uh, decided to try a supplement called Femogen. Mm -hmm. It was one I'd heard several ladies talking about, um, and especially for things like menopause, but also for, for women who are going through a monthly cycle. And um, I decided to try it. Mm -hmm. And y'all, <laughs> I can honestly tell you the past two months, I have had no cramps whatsoever no crazy um, it's been phenomenal phenomenal so yes it is absolutely possible to have a cycle and not be feel like you have a rusty knife in your guts for a week <laughs> um, you know God created our bodies and he created these plants and he put them to work together well so when you take care of what needs to be taken care of, it is absolutely possible to not be in serious pain once a month. Mm -hmm. So uh, I really felt that I just needed to share that with all of you. Um, I hope that you have learned something that has given you a little hope. Guys, if you are tired of dealing with crazy woman once a month, um, show her this video and the fact that it is possible to have a I'm, I'm not going to say pleasant experience because there, there's still flow there but at least it's comfortable you know which is awesome and amazing um, so yeah anyway I uh, hope this video has um, encouraged you and if you have any questions either uh, comment send me a message whatever I'd love to, to talk to you guys more all right Talk to you later. Bye.